What I've done today is I've seen the scaremongering, frankly, that we've seen over the weekend. I've seen the way that Jeremy Corbyn wants to sneak into number 10 uh, by playing on the fears of older and vulnerable mm. people. And I've clarified what we will be putting well, in the green paper, so, which I set out in the manifesto. So Jeremy Corbyn is now rewriting your manifesto? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, but that's he, what it what sounds is, like. You've reacted is, to him. No, we haven't. Re uh, Andrew, we have not rewritten the manifesto. The <laughs> principles on which we have based our social care policy remain absolutely the same. This must be the first time in modern history that a party's actually broken a manifesto policy before the election. Yeah. What we have done, Andrew, I, I set out in my manifesto the challenges that we need to address as a government. And I've been very clear with people. You know, there are two ways that you can approach this issue. You can say to people, this is, we have an ageing society. Our system will collapse unless we do something about it. That's what I'm saying. You can ignore it, you can put your head in the sand, or you can try and play politics with it. I think it's only fair to people to say this is a problem and we need to fix it now. That's what I want to do. Oh. I want to fix it. Now that you're in favour of a cap, can you give us an idea of what the cap might be, that the amount we'll have to pay for social care? What we're going to do, as we said in our manifesto, is publish, um, we refer to a green paper, of course, uh, a green paper, many people may not uh, realise a green paper a is consultation. a consultation. So we want to take people's views, the views of charities, the views of others, on how the system should be operating. What I've said today so is we that we will, have, the size of the we will have within that consultation uh, mm. that concept of uh, an absolute so limit on the costs that people have to pay. Finish. So we're protecting people for the future. Right. We're providing a system that provides sustainability in our social care for the future. And we've got an ageing population. We need to do this. Otherwise, why, our system will collapse. Why did you not it, put the consultation on a cap in your manifesto? Instead, your manifesto rejects a cap. No. What we've put in a manifesto is that we will have a consultation and the principles on which our social care policy will be based. That, I think, was the right thing to do. Right. Now, we will have... You know, if we're re-elected, we will have that consultation. 